Hello, everyone, and welcome back. From the piece of paper, you can see that I plan this tree more than I usually do. So I started out with the orange or copper colored wire for the trunk, separating out seven pieces and twisting them together. I took the 10 sets and I twisted them together into pairs. Once I had the pairs made, then I started crisscrossing to make the trunk and the root system. Once the roots and the trunk were done, I separated out the proper number of wires for the left side, just like in the sketch drawing. Even though I counted carefully, I still ended up with too many wires and missed numbers compared to my sketch, and I'm still unsure of what happened. Once the left side was done, it was time to start working on the right side, which was the bigger, more main trunk. It was right about here that I noticed I was going up the right side of the main trunk and I forgot to do the left side. So I had to untwist and backtrack a little bit to correct my mistake. Once I had all of the branch sets all twisted out and separated from each other, then it was time to get down to twisting out the individual branches to make it more like a tree.
And with the tree trunk done, now it's time for the leaf parts. So for these leaf parts, I used my little speed tool to make them. But here I'm going to demonstrate using the speed tool and the pliers both. And then once you have as many loops as you want to make for your leaf part, it's time to start rolling it up and coiling it together to make the leaf bunch. Here I'm using my uh, cotton ball and super glue mix to glue the tree to the rock. With this tree, I had a little bit of difficulty. I don't know if it was the new super glue or possibly a more porous type rock but eventually I got it done and with the being glued to the rock it is done thank you everybody for watching and don't forget to give that like button a poke see you in the next video